Hello and welcome to Chairside Live. I'm Megan Strong. And I'm Will Schmidt, Registered Dental Assistant here at Glidewell Dental. He is. And on today's episode, we've got a part one of a three-part series from Dr. Chi, and he's using the latest in material science, and that is Bruxer Aesthetic. He's replacing some PFMs on number seven and number 10. Wow. And I know that these can be challenging cases. What are some of the problems that clinicians might face in a situation like this? I mean, Megan, anterior PFMs, where do I start? Mm -hmm. They are bulky. We're gonna deal with metal margins. These are really common occurrences with PFMs. Uh, opaque, they're not gonna be really translucent, especially in the aesthetic zone. So what Dr. Chi is going to do today is using Bruxer Aesthetic, change out these PFMs and show you the final result that occurred from this. Great. And I, so let's see, let's, let's, let's go to the tape and let's see if he can work his magic. And I know that the patient asked that, that the restorations would just disappear into her na natural dentition. So let's see if he can do it. There you go. Dr. Chi is the magician. Let's check it out. For this case, we have a 26-year-old female with existing porcelain fused to metal restorations on the laterals numbers 7 and 10, which were placed to restore the teeth after endodontic treatment. As you can see from the occlusal view, through the access on the lingual, number 10 has recently been retreated. The patient's goal is to improve the aesthetics with more natural-looking restorations. Her complaint with the existing crowns is the visible grayness along the gum line, especially on number 10, and that the crowns look very different from her other teeth. These are both common issues with PFMs since they essentially consist of three artificial layers, the metal coping or substructure for strength, an opaque layer used to mask the grayness of the metal, then the outer feldspathic porcelain for aesthetics. Having made several PFM crowns in my early days as a technician, I can tell you it's extremely challenging to get the balance of these three layers correct for optimal aesthetics, especially when the overall thickness is dictated by the amount of tooth reduction beneath. Here's a look at the final restorations. I changed the crowns out for monolithic Bruxer restorations that blend in beautifully with the rest of her natural dentition. This unique zirconia formulation has been dialed in to be a high strength at 900 megapascal of flexural strength with natural optical properties. This material is quite an amazing evolution since the more brawn than beauty Bruxer from 10 years ago, which was meant to be a posterior tooth colored, high strength, gold and PFM alternative. With the combination of high strength and translucency, Bruxer aesthetic can be prescribed for any single unit or three unit bridge in the anterior and posterior. Well, that wraps things up for the introduction to this case. On the next episode of Chairside Live, I'll take you through the steps I went through to change the PFMs for the Bruxer Aesthetic Restorations. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you so much for that, Dr. Chi. Stay tuned for the next installment of this case where Dr. T takes us through the preparation as well as the iTero scan. It's going to be good. So thank you so much for tuning in today. We appreciate you watching. And we'll meet you right back here next time. <laughs>